once once you are known to be homeless, they purposely mm. go out of their way to uh, be pretty f***ed up to you. All right, we're here with Shannon and Lady. How are you guys doing? We are doing good, as well as we can be. Huh, babies? All right, Shannon, I want to get into your background, but first, can you tell us about your current situation, where you're, where you're living, and how you're surviving? Yes, right now, um, we are homeless. We are living under uh, the bridge over here. Yeah. Um, pretty much, we survive by going out, and we panhandle. Um, we fly these signs. Uh, I, I make the palm bruises also, and uh, pretty much more or less people just being kind and giving us a couple bucks. When you said we, who's who's uh, living with you? Um, it is me, Lady, of course, and her father, okay. my boyfriend, D. Okay. Um, How long have you guys been together? Uh, we have been together since last August, so almost one year. Okay, are you guys struggling with any kind of addictions? Um, addiction-wise, uh, for him, yes, uh, with the black. Um, I do the black sometimes, but for me, it's still not an issue. Uh, we do smoke crystal uh, just because you really don't get to sleep too much. And uh, kind of sucks being homeless, so kind of try to drown your sorrows somehow. So you guys do crystal to stay awake and yep. stay safe? Yeah. Uh, before we go on, do we have permission to use this video on our YouTube channel? Yes. Okay. Now, um, we're gonna get into your background now. Where were you born? I was born in the Philadelphia area uh, back in 1981. Okay. I am 41, it was actually 41 my birthday on uh the 21st so happy late birthday two Thursdays ago thank you oh in the philadelphia area where'd you go to high school i went to upper dublin high school um it is in fort washington pa uh it is a uh upper class town predominantly okay. i was one of the only kids who celebrated christmas predominantly jewish uh, very nice area yeah. it's a good school yeah. blue ribbon Okay. School district. Uh, the norm is you go to college after you graduate high school. Both your parents were, were together when you were growing up? Uh, no, they actually broke up when I was maybe one. Um, they had me young. My mother got pregnant when she was 16, and yeah. uh, pretty much it didn't last. It, okay. Once, you know, they had the baby in the house, it didn't work out. <laughs> Did you see both parents, though, growing up? Yes. Um, my father, he had custody of me. Um, my mother, I didn't see when I was really young, but then she came back around when I was five or six. Okay. When you were going to school, what kind of grades were you getting? Uh, I always got good grades until I hit high school. Then I started, you know, drinking, smoking, and uh, getting C's, D's, oh. but I still uh, was able to pull off getting into college, but I picked uh, the number one party school. Okay. WVU. Where, I went there. Where's that? West Virginia. Okay. University, and uh, back in '99, it was the number one party school. Okay. So. In high school, did you have a favorite subject? Uh, I would say science. Okay. You have a favorite teacher? Do you remember? To tell you the truth, no. No. <laughs> no. Were you a popular girl? Yep. Were you? Yep. Were you a cheerleader? Not a cheerleader. Uh, I got along with everybody. Um, I was in, uh, you know, the popular kids, but uh, my high school was kind of off where, like, the cheerleaders were the really big dorks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I never had a problem with making friends or yeah. having things to do. Did you suffer any kind of uh, mental illness or anything? Um, when I was a kid, I always had really bad anxiety, yeah. um, and 
some depression. Uh, recently, I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia, um, yeah. and I am bipolar and anxiety. They didn't so. catch that when you were younger? No. No. Do you remember, now that you think back, can you remember any of the signs or symptoms that you had? And thinking back, yeah, yeah. Behaviors? Yeah. yeah. A lot of paranoia, you know. Do you so. think that may have been one of the reasons for you using or abusing drugs? Uh, I definitely think so. Uh, yeah. Drugs were always a way uh, that I felt at ease. Okay. Some relief. Are there feelings of emptiness that you're trying to feel by um, abusing drugs, do you think? Uh, when I'm home, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, some days, you know, are really bad days. It's hot, you know, freaking sometimes you got to move where you're camped at. And, yeah. you know, there's tension, of course. And yeah. sometimes it's just that escape uh, where you feel yeah. some relief. Yeah. yeah. And then what did you graduate with from college? Um, I have a bachelor's in business marketing and a minor in communications. Okay. So. And then what did you do after college? Uh, after college, I actually got a job working for a engineering firm that did contract work okay. for the government. So, uh, oh, hold on a second, sorry. It's okay, let's go, go in your stroller, go on. Um, so like they uh, built uh, UAVs, the uh, small planes that that actually fly themselves over battle areas to yeah. see what's going on. And uh, that was in the early 2000s. Okay. So, and uh, I made very good money, but uh, I made better money bartending than bartending. I did okay. at the job that I went to school for. So okay. ended up switching over to that. What drugs do you currently use again? Uh, occasionally black, yeah. crystal meth, um, weed on occasion and um once in a blue moon i'll have like a drink but yeah. not a big drinker okay and then what happened with your job um did you start using drugs and then you lost your job or um i haven't had a actual job since i lived in florida and uh -huh. i was bartending and uh yeah okay. that was the call us um but uh for Right when COVID hit really bad, uh, I, I have something called osteomyelitis, um, yeah. which was caused from IV drug use. And uh, I had to learn how to walk again. And my lower spine is a metal cage. Um, so my disability, I applied for, I got a lawyer and while you're waiting for your disability, yeah. you're not allowed to work. Oh, okay. So uh, I actually have court for it in October, and that'll be my fourth appeal. Okay. Yep. When you were a little girl, what did you dream of becoming? A lawyer, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Don't know why, but... <laughs> why didn't you pursue that? Ah, uh, it seemed a little far-fetched when I got older. Oh, okay. Were your parents supporting you when you were in school as far as uh, getting you a tutor? You said you lived in a pretty yeah. uh, ritzy area. Um, Okay, you were upper upper middle class yeah. or? Yes. Okay. Um, tutor, no. Uh, definitely, like how I said, my parents had me young. I lived at my father's during the week. Yeah. But uh, my grandparents, my father's parents, were the ones that, uh, you know, got me to apply for college oh, and okay. push it. education, stuff like that. Uh, they were the ones who paid attention to yeah. my schoolwork. Who was your role model growing up? Uh, I don't know, to tell you the truth. Yeah, no, no. yeah, I don't know. Did you look up to anybody? What was that? Did you look up to anybody? Uh, definitely my grandparents. Okay. On my father's side. So while you're out here um, on the streets panhandling, how much do you make a day about average? Um, average, $40. Uh, when we first started doing it, we were doing a lot better. We were averaging probably 80 to 100. But uh, other people became jealous and spread rumors that uh, I abused my dog. You what? Abused your dog? Yeah, okay. which is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, it would be nice to get back up to that uh, because when we were making that, we uh, paid for 
one of the cheap hotel rooms here in town and yeah. we were able to keep that going but then unfortunately I went to jail because of trespassing which is something they like to hit homeless people with yeah. and my boyfriend lady's father wasn't able to keep the room going while I was locked up so it's now we're just constantly playing catch-up there's a common complaint that I hear about the situation with the homeless people that the cops are really strict on them and yeah it, it's kind of and punish uh, him almost yes once once you are known to be homeless they purposely mm. go out of their way to uh, be pretty f***ed up to you do you think that the government could do more for the homeless uh here definitely yes uh like the shelters here uh there's a lot pretty much it's people with severe mental problems where it's like they're just constantly yelling and screaming and they have you sleep outside yeah so do you have any children no kids um yeah. i i guess it was just never in the cards for me um i think if i would have i would have stayed away from the drugs but uh yeah okay no do kids. you think that if you had a different home life um a more stable home do you think that you would have ended up somewhere different in life uh, or do you think it may be in the genes? I think it's in the genes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on my mother's side, there's a lot of uh, mental oh, okay. illness and uh, so. Anybody with addictions? Addictions too, oh, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You still keep in contact with your folks or other relatives? Um, I talk to my mom. Um, I haven't had the heart to let her know the full extent of exactly how homeless we really are. Yeah. Um, like when I was in Florida and I was homeless there, it wasn't like this. Like it, I was more staying on friend sofas, but uh, this we are on the streets completely. So. Okay. What's the worst thing that's happened to you on these streets? Uh, the worst thing. I have been very, very lucky. Uh, worst thing just uh. All my, all my belongings being yeah. being stolen, uh, uh, but fortunately we haven't had any real bad things happen to us. Okay, so you've been with somebody the whole time. Yes. You've been okay, mm -hmm. so there's protection for yeah. you. My boyfriend D, he's a pretty big guy, so oh. people are yeah. usually pretty scared. And what lady is, also, believe it yeah. or not. <laughs> the money that you make every day, what does it mostly go for? Uh, pretty much, um, it goes to a lot of drinks. It is hot out here. Yeah. Um, Freaking, we don't have coolers. Yeah. So a lot of 7-Eleven runs. Food and then drugs. Drugs, yeah. Yep. Do you guys have an exit strategy? How to get out of this? Uh... Well, <clears throat> we did when we had the room thing going. Uh, yeah. You know, we were hoping that my disability was gonna go through yeah. this last time and it didn't. So we were hoping just to keep the room going yeah. and that my disability would go through. Right now, uh, you know, we've been having some issues as far as getting frustrated at, yeah. at the situation because it's every day just, you know, we're under a bridge, you yeah. know, and just going to panhandle and, you know, it seems like we can never get ahead. So we got to figure out something, you know. I have court in October, but I don't want to keep doing this till October, you know. What about getting off? Um, the drugs um, we could do that uh, we would have to separate then uh, but I feel that it's something we could kick on our own you would have to separate because you would, you'd go into rehab yeah yeah okay do you know where to go for that uh, I've heard of places yeah, yeah. Um, I have been in treatment before oh, okay. so, so you've I'm, been through this before yes yeah, so we could discuss this I know some places around here okay you've been to NA Yep. Not out here, but. Uh, yeah. Did you I have a sponsor to... and all yep, that? Yeah. You believe in a higher power? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know there's something bigger than me. So you have a strategy. You're just not ready to kick it yet. Kick the habit just yet. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of getting everybody to agree. And, yeah. But at the same time, too, it's yeah. like I know we could do it on our own if we got into a room, got off the streets, and. And then I had one lady who actually Venmoed us over $600 and Venmo froze my account. So yeah. we thought that was going to be yeah. the way, you know, off the streets and 
Who was this lady? Uh, I actually met her when I was panhandling. Uh, she was a very, very, very nice woman. She lives in Chicago, and uh, she gave us 300 bucks that time. And uh, she recently emailed me, and I emailed her back, and she Venmoed me again. Okay. In your circle of friends, do you have anyone that's uh, living a righteous life and uh, not using drugs and working? Honestly, to tell you the truth, like, I had my best friend that I grew up with, my best friend from college, and mm. I've honestly been too embarrassed to talk to those people. Mm. So, it's like I have acquaintances, yeah. but uh, her, uh, my boyfriend, is pretty much the only person, really. Oh, you know? okay. What's the best thing about your life right now? Lady. <laughs> Lady? Yeah. Yeah, definitely lady. <laughs> I feel that way about my dog, too. Yeah. He's not with me <laughs> oh. on this trip here, but... <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, missing yeah. him. <laughs> what is your most cherished memory as a child or as an adult? As a child, probably Christmases. Uh, okay. That was always a good time. Um, as a adult, I would say in this situation... Yeah. Uh, the first time we were finally able to like get into a room and things seemed to be yeah. going good. Okay, what message do you have for younger people that are maybe wanting to get into drugs and alcohol and party recklessly? Uh, that it's not worth it and uh, it really sucks when you're my age. And you look back and you're like, F yeah. things could have been different, you yeah. know? Yeah. So you wouldn't recommend it? No, no, definitely not. Yeah. Particularly if you have any kind of um, mental conditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's pride and all that, you know, all combined. What would you like to see yourself in two years? Two years, uh, definitely. Far away from the city, yeah. uh, with a stable home, um, maybe doing like some kind of like animal rescue kind of thing, okay. something like that, and uh, yeah, just uh, being able to uh, wake up not having to worry about how you're going to survive that day. What steps would you need to take? What's the first step? First step uh, definitely is to get the hell off the streets. Off the street, off the drugs. Yeah. Off the streets. Yeah. Get a job. Well, for me, unfortunately, the job thing yeah. with my disability. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Your boyfriend could work. Um, he could. He needs to get his disability. Uh, okay. His mental issues are a lot more oh, severe okay. th than mine are. Yeah. So uh, that's an avenue that he definitely needs to, needs to pursue. All right, Shannon, how about some fun questions real quick? Um, what's your favorite movie of all time? Favorite movie, um, Man on Fire. Man on Fire? Yeah. Never seen that one. Denzel Washington, Dakota Fanning. Yeah. It's a good movie. And then probably The Basketball Diaries. The which one? The Basketball Diaries. The Basketball Diaries, yeah. okay. Yeah. Did you play any sports back then? No, I, I was too busy being bad. <laughs> Do you like sports? Do you watch anything? Uh, I mean, I'll watch them, but I've never really been yeah. into, you know. What's the best concert you've ever been to? Definitely my first concert, which was Aerosmith. Aerosmith? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when was that? Ah, uh, that was back in the 90s uh, in Right in Philadelphia at the Old Spectrum. But you even know the date? No, I don't. Later I know okay. it, it was during the summer. <laughs> okay. Well, Shannon, you're a very bright young lady. Thank you so much for this interview. Oh, thank you. Do you have an email account that you can share with us? Yes, I do. Um, it is levitanshannon at gmail.com. Great. Maybe some of our subscribers that were touched by your story, can reach out to you and offer yeah. advice or um, provide you support. 
in that some would, way. That would be awesome. I would greatly yeah. appreciate that. And so would Lady. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time again. And I hope you have a blessed night and hope you find your way. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shannon.